Okay, and now I will machine this uh, square groove. Okay, on the top of the part. So I will create new operation. It will be 2D contouring operation. I will select the same tool, which is 2 millimeters cylindrical mill. I can also copy and paste the previous operation, but I have decided to make a new one. No difference. Uh, I will uh, select this edge and add it to job assignment as curve. This will be my bottom level. This will be my top level. That's it. So, and we press run. Okay. So, as you can see, here we have uh, the place where the machining was made by the previous operation. So, the approach for 2D contouring operation will be fine. For this 2D contouring operation will be fine. Because the cent if the center of the tool is not cutting, so it will be no problem because this area is already uh, machined by the previous uh, operation. So, here is the result, machining result of this operation. By the way, I can switch in every operation. In SprutCam, I can switch uh, what I would like to see, the machining result of previous operation or the workpiece state for the previous operation. For example, here is the operation for 2D contouring of this groove, as you can see, and now I have workpiece visibility activated. So now we can see this transparent uh, area is semi-transparent area is the workpiece for this operation. So, and if I turn it off, now I see only the part itself. And if I turn off machining result, I can see that uh, after this operation, this groove is machined and here is the machining result. So, one of the very, very useful features in SpruceCam. So, okay, we've done these uh, grooves and now we are ready for the next operation.